Titan, 22nd moon of Saturn. Astrophysical Observatory. We have arrived at Titan, 1.2 million kilometers from Saturn. 11 years ago, Gabriel Cantor established the first permanent settlement on this moon. Now, Kronos Frontier has five installations on Titan. The observatory is near the moon's north pole. We have received no further updates from Juno Offworld. The bases on Titan, Tethys, and Enceladus are not responding to our transmissions. We seem to be alone. If Gabriel Cantor is still alive, we must find him. He might be somewhere on Titan. We should assume that auto-ops here will be hostile. Scans of the observatory have picked up unusual operator energy signatures. Be careful. Oh, I will. I'll be so freaking careful. So the Devastator is the uh, a special weapon we got when we were battling that Goliath guy. It says it's a multi-fragment high explosive missile developed as a proof of concept. The Devastator is a high powered explosive that scatters many smaller explosives upon detonation. Despite many attempts to make the missile financially viable, including a remote detonation system. Most devastators were split in two and repurposed as the explosive component of the Golem Autonomous Operators. Most interesting. Oh, so we got some new guys called Shredders. They got dual mining blades. Look pretty badass. Those are the damn uh, Alan Snack Bar guys right there. <laughs> Alright guys, anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to another episode of Overload, where you get to enjoy some hot, destructive, robot-killing action. <laughs> Alright, so we got 11 upgrade points, 5 super upgrade points. Let's just keep doing the ship, I think. Boost cooling, eh. Item duration might be kind of nice, actually. To add a 10, 10 more seconds. Maybe, I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. It only costs three points. Although we haven't upgraded any secondaries, which would probably probably be a smart decision. Let's upgrade the Falcon. So higher damage, larger explosion, and more max ammo. Four points. I don't really care about the Creeper. It's kind of like, eh. Hunter might be cool, just does higher damage. Oh, no way! We can upgrade the missile pod so that the pods track towards the operators. So it's basically like a hunter. Probably not as accurate, but still, that's pretty cool. I think we're gonna do that, four points. So now if we want, we can use some super upgrade points. What if we upgrade the missile pod again? Whoa, you can choose different ones? Oh, hold on. Whoa, what? So it says, upgrade to Missile Pod++ plus plus XS, higher damage and more max ammo. Or upgrade Missile Pod for ST, better tracking ability. Ooh. I don't know. Better tracking ability would probably be a good one. And we can do the Falcon as well. So we can do higher damage and rate of fire and faster speed. Or missiles track towards operators. I'd probably just do track towards operators. But I don't know. And we can upgrade our impulse if we want. Four shots at once with reduced rate of fire. Or higher rate of fire, faster shots, and lower energy use. Doesn't, doesn't that one just seem better? In every way? Four shots at once with reduced rate of fire. Higher rate of fire, faster shots, and lower energy. So you'd be saving ammo, and you'd just be shooting basically as fast as basically firing four at once. So that seems kind of weird. What about flight speed? 20% total? Gosh, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tempted to to, uh, to do the impulse. I think I'm going to save it for now, though. I'm going to save those points. Oh, we do have- we still have enough to do, uh, item duration. Let's go ahead and do that. Increases it by 10 seconds. Cool. Let's rock.
Oh yeah, there are no checkpoints in overload, but you can save at any time. Yeah, I need to uh I need to save more often. <laughs> Learned that the hard way last time. Overload the reactor. Classic. So we upgraded our missiles a lot, so that's pretty cool. Secret door at the beginning. Door locked. Ooh, there is a secret door. How do we open that fudger? Whoa. Oh, buttons maybe? Oh, those are the drilling guys. Oh, those guys aren't so tough. Okay, did it unlock this door? Yeah, baby. This is Dr. Matsuko Yamada, Chief Astrophysicist. You don't say. My team has been tasked with a special project from Gabriel Cantor in support of the Forge and Titan Collider. So they should track now, right? A little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Nice. I dig it. Any more secret doors in the ground, maybe? Oh, dude, that helps so much. It's going to help me save a lot of ammo. Heck yeah. Secret door? Yeah, baby. Upgrade point. Get drilled, sucker. Smash! Damn, that guy's strong. Woo! Oh crap! Woo! Thank God for that missile tracking. Secret doors, maybe? We got some hunters we can start using. Oh, and there's and there is a button. Or unlock somewhere. Suck it. Miss any doors? I don't think so yet. Yeah, baby. Let's look around a little bit more before we go through there. Kill. 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 I found a message from Gabriel Cantor to the astronomers at the observatory. Nice. He sent it in December of last year. We are on the verge of a breakthrough that will transform not only technology, but humanity itself. The fundamental question of what it means to be human. 
Minds of work here. You'll appreciate the sacrifices we made, but the only way to get there is if you do exactly what I say. People on the outer moons need no direct reference to this object. It would appear they were not informed. Yeah, baby. The scope and nature of this project is secret. Cantor has established protocols for sharing data, but each team has visibility only onto its particular assignment. So what the heck, like, Cantor's, like, it's so vague he's talking about modifying humans or something like that? I don't know, maybe he found some alien shiz. Or he's turning people into robots. <laughs> I don't know, man. Don't know. Secret stuff, maybe, baby. Go back up real fast. So we need level one access. Is that just right here? <laughs> Kill. Ooh, is this a devastator? Yeah, baby. Let's not go there yet. Whoa, that's a big guy, it looks like. He's all scary and red, man. Guys hurt. Level three access right there. Level two. Did that button open? I like a door, did you hear that? Or is that just me getting a ammo pickup? That's where we just came in from. No doors over here, really? Huh, okay. Is 
that a shield? Oh, baby. I definitely don't want to accidentally waste that Devastator. <laughs> I gotta be careful where I'm shooting. And what I'm shooting. Secret doors or anything? Level two. I think there were still some places back here I didn't really explore all the way, right? Another Devastator? Heck yeah, man. Alright, I think that was pretty much it for back here. Going the right way? Yeah, 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 here we go. Woo! God damn. Dang, that hurt. Oh, crap, are you serious? I'm just gonna keep spawning guys in here. He's got shields on the replicators. Or fab Why do I keep calling them replicators? <laughs> the fabricators. <laughs> Seems like it doesn't really do all that much damage. Okay, there's a access key down there. Got to be a secret door in this room, right? Not. 
Boom, baby. Suck it, man, all these misses. Woo! Slow down there, big guy. Level three. Today, we are studying KIC 8462852. We'll begin as soon as Walcott reconfigures the arrays. Ooh. That was a nice little loop around. Let's see if I miss anything back there, though. I mean, I don't think so, but... Nah. Dude, having these track is just a huge world of difference. Oh, there we go. Cool, so that disabled the shields on these uh, fabricators. Oh yeah, baby. I think there were, were there more or was just that too? I think it was just those two, right? I've already been in here. Yeah. So that's level three back over there, but I'm gonna go explore over here a little bit more because I know there's some areas I missed. And probably some secret stuff somewhere. Get some of the free delicious energy, yes? No secret stuff and things in here, maybe? No. Maybe secret stuff back here? No. I'm kind of surprised. One-on-one, -on -one, those guys are no problemo, man. Woo! Gotta rotate. <laughs> Go down there in a sec. Sack it. 
<laughs> cool, we got some hunters. Make sure to stay away from those devastators, man. Tomorrow is the anniversary. Simone was on board the shuttle, along with five others. They were en route from Encelados to Titan. There's the exit. We go in one of these. Woo! He's trying to saw my face off. shipment of auto ops from the workshop. Their mining issue with military grade enhancements. The observatory feels more oppressive every day. How much ener energy does that use? Not very much. That's cool. Baby. I don't know what I'm gonna use this on. Nothing? I don't even think there's anything down here for me to fight. Or is there? Oh, there is. <laughs> Start ramming them. Yeah, baby. Get some. Want a little kissy? Little kissy poo? Heck yeah, man. getting a lot of missile pods I dig it oh that's overdrive I think I could use that maybe I'll save it for after I destroy this bad boy oh there's like little turrets it's cute <laughs> oh there's spawners I didn't even notice I should probably use that overdrive Probably another one, right? Still got a shield? So that probably just lowered the shield on the reactor. Yeah, that's right. I can just evade these guys. It's pretty easy. <laughs> Here, I'll get the overdrive real fast. Oh, oh, it's a shield upgrade point. Or super upgrade point. My bad. Thought it was overdrive. And there is a devastator. I wonder if it's worth me trying to destroy that fabricator after I destroy the uh, other reactor. 
Probably gives you extra points, I imagine, right? Got you. Whoa, my bad. <laughs> we gotta go a ways, don't we? Oh, no, it's, it's not that far. Woo -wee. Objective complete. New destination Autonomous Operator Research and Development ETA. Two hours. Kick ass, guys. <laughs> I forgot to save again. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this other episode. That was a pretty relaxed one. I mean, it's this game's getting, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's fun, but it's it's getting pretty relaxed. I mean, I just kind of just want to zone out and play it. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you in the next one. Later, guys.